Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Eclairs Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. I tried the serum back in 2015 and it worked really really well for a lot of the scarring that I had left over on my cheeks after I started Accutane. And I really wanted to know if I still liked it as much because I've tried quite a few other vitamin C products after this one and I didn't love them that much. So I thought it would be interesting to give this one a go again. So the product description says, The freshly juiced vitamin drop is designed with key ingredients directly from nature and concentrated pure vitamin C for an innovative, multi-solution, non-irritating formula to revitalize, maintain and transform your skin. Don't be discriminated against because of your sensitive skin type anymore. Experience the power of vitamin C with the freshly juiced vitamin drop. Claire's freshly juiced vitamin drop contains 5% ascorbic acid and is suitable for all ages and skin types, even if you have the most sensitive skin. This serum has pretty cute packaging that has a little holographic strip running through the center. I really like that it comes with a dropper top too, so I can use the same amount every time, which is usually just a full dropper top. There isn't that much more to it, but it is cute and it is functional. The serum itself is clear in color and has a slightly oily feeling. I apply this to my bare skin in the morning and let it absorb for about 10 minutes while I make my morning coffee because, you know, multitasking. I actually like that the serum has a slightly oily feeling because I can let it sit on my skin for 10 minutes without it feeling tight and dry. I have been using this serum for about 2 months now and I feel like my skin is a little brighter but my acne scars are still quite apparent. I do feel like a couple of little lines have plumped up but it's nothing drastic and could also be attributed to using other hydrating products. I really do wish that I liked this as much as I did in 2015 but in all honesty I just don't see that many results from it this time. It is a bit of a complex situation. In 2015, I was not using any exfoliating products whatsoever. And now I use actives maybe like every day or every second day at the very least. So I think my skin is definitely less reactive to these types of products that are made for more sensitive skin or are just general, gentler in general. It's also important to note that one of the most visible signs of your vitamin C working is that it fades leftover scarring and I just don't have that much scarring in comparison to what I did have back in 2015. So I'm going to insert a picture of what I started off with and what I ended up with in 2015 and you can see that it definitely did improve my skin. But I didn't experience that with this this time and it did make me a little bit sad. I do enjoy using the serum. I specifically love that it has a dropper top because it's so much easier to use. I just finished the Milano CC Anti-Spot Essence, I think that's what it's called. And it comes in like a little squeeze tube. And I just found it really, really difficult to use because I found the squeeze tube hard to use. But I've also tried the C21.5 serum, which also comes with a dropper top and I didn't see that many results from it. Um, the Milano, I didn't see that many results. I did really enjoy the Drunk Elephant Vita C Firma Serum, C Firma Day Serum, and I actually found that that one was really, really good for my skin, so I'm not sure if that's just more intense, maybe, and the ones that I'm trying are a little bit less intense. I know for sure that this one is a bit more for like beginner skincare or like sensitive skin because it's only 5% ascorbic acid and it did make my skin look nice. My skin looked plump, it looked nicely and gently exfoliated but not enough for me to be spending the money on this product. You can actually get this one from YesStyle for $18.38 in US dollars at the moment which is not a bad price but again I probably wouldn't keep using this one. If you guys have got any other suggestions for vitamin C products that are not as expensive as the drunk elephant ones, then please do leave them down below and I will do my best to try them out. But thank you guys so much for watching this review today and I will see you next time. Bye!